गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे दिस इज नुजहत सना आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेरी वेल एंड टूडे इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एंड ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ नवम्बर ट्वेंटी सो बेसिकली इन दिस सेशन विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरनेशनल फिल्म फेस्टिवल ऑफ इंडिया मीन्स वट वॉज द वेन्यू फॉर दिस इवेंट After that, we will talk about a state of the world's children report. What are the important points of this report? Then we will talk about climate change performance index. Further, we will see Hornbill Festival has been celebrated in which Indian state? Women's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy has been given to which country? Means which country is is the winner for this championship? After that, we will see the first night safari has been started at which place in India? World Children's Day is observed on which date? which country is the new uh, member of international solar alliance then highest national award of guyana country has been given to which important personality and at last we'll be talking about rs26 rubey's missile okay so now without taking any further time let's get started the first question is where was the international film festival of india 2024 held the correct answer is b option goa So this was the 55th edition of International Film Festival of India and recently it opened with a star studded ceremony in Panaji in the state of Goa and if we talk about this festival it was founded in the year 1952 it is among the asia's most significant film festivals and annually it is held in Goa so it provides a platform for the global film makers to showcase the excellence promote the cultural understanding and foster the international cooperation the first edition was held in mumbai and later on it moved to different cities like kolkata delhi chennai and tiruvananthapuram and iffi is south asia's only film festival which is accredited by the international federation of film producers association as a competitive feature film festival okay so what is the venue for international film festival of india 2024 this is the state goa okay and this edition was 55th okay now the next slide will be talking about some important art and culture related current affairs the first one is ihrc means indian historical records commission which was seen in the news is functioning under which ministry so ihrc functions under ministry of culture Recently the world's oldest calendar has been discovered in which country it has been discovered from Turkey Khajuraho dance festival is associated with which Indian state this dance festival belongs to Madhya Pradesh Virupaksh temple is located in which Indian state this temple lies in Karnataka Tavi festival is celebrated in which state or the union territory this festival belongs to Jammu and Kashmir Tirumala Tirupati Sri Venkateshwara Temple is located in which Indian state? This temple is found to be in Andhra Pradesh state. Recently, the scientists have discovered over 300 new Nazca lines in which country? These lines have been discovered from the country Peru. Okay. Question number two is which organization recently published the State of the World's Children 2024 report? The correct answer is A option, United Nations Children's Fund, that is UNICEF. UNICEF published the State of the World's Children 2024 report and the report highlights that nearly 1 billion children face high risk from climate and environmental hazards and this report is the annual flagship report of UNICEF that analyzes the global issues which affect the children including conflict child labor and disabilities okay and uh, the 2024 report was launched on the occasion of world children's day which is observed every year on 20th of november and it focuses on listen to the future means this year the theme for the world children's day is listen to the future and this theme amplifies the children's voices on their aspirations fine so by the end of 2050 It is projected that India, China, Nigeria and Pakistan all these four countries will account for over 1/3 of the global child population and India alone is projected to have a 350 million number of children which is the largest share globally despite a 106 million decline okay so you have to remember that the state of the world's children 2024 report is given by UNICEF okay 
what's inside the report is not at all important these things would be only relevant if you give any mains examination fine now in the next slide we'll be talking about some important reports that were in news in the past few weeks recently the state secured the first spot in the state food safety index 2024 this is the state kerala which ministry recently released the model foster care guidelines 2024 these guidelines are given by ministry of women and child development which organization recently released the future of financial advice report this report is given by world economic forum headquarters lies in switzerland which organization recently published the global education monitoring report 2024 it is given by unesco a decade of documenting migrant deaths report recently released by which organization answer here is international organization for migration which organization recently prepared the business ready index answer here is world bank sometimes you are asked that in the b ready index what does b stand for so it stands for business okay which organization recently released the untapped collective intelligence for climate action report this report is given by UNDP United Nations Development Program fine question number 3 is what is the rank of india in the climate change performance index 2025 the correct answer is d option 10th so climate change performance index 2025 was released by german watch new climate institute and the climate action network international and the first three spots were left empty with denmark a uh, ranking at fourth position and india has secured here the 10th rank okay so this index evaluates the progress on global greenhouse gas emissions renewable energy energy use and the climate policies it covers 63 countries and the european union that focuses on the world's largest emitters fine so you have to remember that climate change performance index uh, has been released recently and in this index India has been placed at tenth position. The top three ranks were uh, left as vacant, while Denmark was placed at fourth position. Fine. In the next slide, let's see some important uh, indices that were in news. The first one is which organization released the South Asian Development Update Report? This report is given by World Bank. According to the World Air Quality Report, which country was the third most polluted country in 2023? So in 2023 the most the third most polluted country was India which organization recently published the commitment to reducing the inequality index of 2024 this is Oxfam and Development Finance International what is the rank of India on the energy transition index 2024 India's rank is 63 which institution released a report titled as future pandemic preparedness and emergency response a framework for action this report is given by Niti Aayog Which organization recently launched the multidimensional vulnerability index answer is United Nation recently which institution released the aging well in asia asian development policy report this report is given by adb asian development bank headquarter lies in philippines okay question number 4 is hornbill festival is celebrated in which indian state the correct answer is a option nagaland and on this event japan would be the official partner country and this festival is held annually from 1st to 10th of december it showcases the culture of nagaland through music dance art and indigenous games it was started in the year 2000 and basic goal here is to promote the state's culture encourage the intertribal interaction and also to preserve the naga heritage it was organized by the state's tourism and art and culture department with support from the union government also it is named after the indian hornbill which is a colorful bird that is central to the folklore of many naga tribe okay so you have to remember that hornbill festival is celebrated in the state of nagaland for this year japan is the official partner country for this festival and uh, also don't forget that pakke paga hornbill festival is celebrated in the state of arunachal pradesh okay in the next slide let's see some important art and culture related news the first one is sagar dawa a buddhist festival recently celebrated in which indian state this is the buddhist festival of sikkim next is chamaya vilakku festival is associated with which indian state this festival is related to kerala shri baba buddha amarnath temple is located in which valley of jammu and kashmir 
So this temple lies in the Loran Valley of Jammu and Kashmir. Archaeologists recently discovered the first evidence of rock art in which city of Karnataka. So they have discovered the first evidence of rock art in the city of Mangaluru. Noakhai festival is celebrated in which Indian state? So this is the festival of Orisha. Recently there was the country's first sunken museum inaugurated. The very first sunken museum has been inaugurated at Humayun Tomb. Next is Gangamma Jatra, a folk festival recently celebrated in which Indian state? This is the folk festival of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Question number five is, which country won the Women's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy 2024? The correct answer here is C option India. Indian women's hockey team won their third Asian Champions Trophy title with a 1-0 victory over the country China. Okay. And here Deepika scored the decisive goal in the third quarter at the Rajgir Hockey Stadium that is in there in Bihar. And this marks the India's second consecutive Asian Champions Trophy title that has been won on home soil. Okay. And the final was a closely contested uh, match that showcases the strong performances from both the teams. Two, th two things are important. First of all, which country is the winner for Women's Asian Hockey Champions Trophy 2024? This is the country India. And uh, they have won this trophy by defeating which another country? So that is the country China. Okay. In the next slide, we'll be talking about some sport related current affairs. The first one is recently who won the gold medal in the men's 10 meters air pistol event at the ISSF World Cup 2024 in Munich, Germany. The winner of gold medal is Sarabjot Singh at this uh, championship. Tanishri Pandey has clinched which medal at the World Soft Tennis Championship at Jingshan in China. This is silver medal. Recently, who has become the first English woman to be honored as wisdom's leading cricketer in the world? The first English woman uh, that has been honored with wisdom's leading cricketer in the world is Nat Sivar Brent. Who became the first Indian archer to win gold medal at the 2024 Paris Paralympics? This is Harvinder Singh. Which Indian parathlete created a world record of 55.06 seconds in the women's 400 meters T20 category at the ongoing Parathletics World Championships 2024 in Kobe, Japan? This is Deepti Jivanji. Recently, there was the 33rd edition of the Olympics started. It started at Paris. Vinesh Pogart, who recently disqualified from Paris Olympics 2024, is associated with which sport? So answer here is wrestling. She was a wrestler. Okay. Question number six is, which city has become home to India's first night safari? This is B option, Lucknow, UP. Okay. Lucknow will have the India's first night safari at the Kukral Night Safari Park and Wildlife Center. This is the 900 acres park. Uh, that will be offering both night and the day safaris and definitely promotes the ecotourism and wildlife conservation as well. Here Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath targets the project completion by the end of June 2026 uh, with a focus on sustainability and solar energy. So this initiative aims to boost the tourism and also it provides a unique wildlife experience for the visitors. Kukrel will be the fifth night safari destination globally. Don't forget it. Okay. So India's first night safari has been started at Lucknow at its Kukrel Wildlife Center. Okay. Now in the next slide, we'll be talking about some national news. The first one is recently which institute discovered an eco-friendly solution for treating the muddy river water. This is Indian Institute of Petroleum and Energy, Vishakhapatnam. Which state government recently approved 33% reservation to women in the police force and 5% of additional allowance to the pensioners? This is the state Rajasthan. Recently, the Ministry of Coal has initiated India's first ever pilot project for underground coal gasification in which Indian state? This is the state Jharkhand. Nishi tribe is the largest ethnic group of which Indian state? This tribe is found in Arunachal Pradesh. Which state recently launched Pirul Lao Paise Pao campaign to prevent the forest fires in the state? This is Uttarakhand. Next is which ministry recently launched the Trade Connect e-platform? Answer is Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Which state has launched a policy to introduce diploma and certificate courses in animal husbandry and para veterinary medicine? This is the state UP. Okay. Question number seven is. 
Which day is observed as the World Children's Day annually? Answer here is 20th of November. World Children's Day is observed every year on 20th of November to promote the children's welfare and protect their rights. Okay. So it was established in 1954 by the United Nations as the Universal Children's Day and the day advocates for the children's well-being and fosters the global togetherness. This year the theme is listen to the future and the theme highlights the importance of including the children's voices in the decisions that affect their lives. So it emphasizes creating a nurturing and equitable world for the next generation. Two things are important. When do we observe the World Children's Day? Answer is 20th of November. And what was the theme for this year? This year, the theme is listen to the future. Okay. In the next slide, we'll be seeing some important days and events. The first one is which day is observed as World Refugee Day every year? This day is observed on 20th of June. Recently, the Blue Leaders High Level Event on Biodiversity Beyond National Jurisdiction was held in which country? This took place at Belgium. When is the World Heritage Week 2024 celebrated in India? Answer is 19th of November to 25th of November 2024. Okay. The next is which day is observed as World Arthritis Day annually? It is observed annually on 12th of October. Recently, where was the first edition of Bharati Kala Mahotsav inaugurated? The first edition of Bharati Kala Mahotsav was inaugurated at Sikandrabad. Recently, where was the exercise Cyber Suraksha 2024 held? The answer is New Delhi. Virasat exhibition is organized by which ministry in New Delhi? This is Ministry of Textiles. Question number 8 is, recently which country has become the 104th member of the International Solar Alliance? So correct answer here is B option Armenia. Armenia became the 104th full member of the International Solar Alliance. And uh, talking about ISA, it is the treaty based uh, intergovernmental organization that was founded by India and France to promote the uh, solar energy at global level. And this alliance aims to mobilize over 100 million dollars, uh, billion dollars actually by the end of 2030 for large scale solar energy deployment. So the membership of Armenia was formalized with the exchange of the ratified framework agreement between Armenian ambassador and the India's Ministry of External Affairs. Okay. So which nation is the 104th member of International Solar Alliance? This is the country Armenia. Fine. Talking about International Solar Alliance, uh, what is the year of foundation? This is 2015 and uh, which are the founding countries of international solar lines these are india and france okay and if you talk about the armenia country what is the capital of armenia it is the yerevan okay now in the next slide we'll be talking about some international news the first one is which african country recently passed a law banning marriage for children under the age of 18 years this is the country sierra leone they have passed a law that bans the marriage for children who are below 18 which country has agreed to provide its integrated antenna system unicorn to the Indian naval ships? This is the country Japan. Which country has recently declared a federal emergency in Orenburg region due to the Ural River flooding orcs? The country is Russia. Recently who has been re-elected as the president of the European Parliament? This is Robert Metzola. Interact project is funded by which organization? This project is funded by European Union. Which country has introduced a bill that aims to ban social media access for the children who are under 16 years of age? This is the country Australia. And last is Kankesan Thurai port is located in which country? This port lies in Sri Lanka. Okay. Question number 9 is what is the name of the highest national award of Guyana recently conferred on Prime Minister Narendra Modi? The correct answer is A option, the order of excellence. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi received the highest national award of Guyana which is known as the Order of Excellence and uh, it was conferred by President of Guyana Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali. So with this Prime Minister Modi became the fourth foreign dignitary to receive this prestigious award and also he was honored with the highest national award of Dominica which is the Dominica Award of Honor by its President. 
and the Dominica award was presented during the second India CARICOM summit that took place at Georgetown. With this, Modi is the second foreign leader after Queen Elizabeth to receive the highest national award of Dominica, right? And uh, Queen Elizabeth received this honor in the year 1969. So you have remembered that the highest national award of Guyana is known as the Order of Excellence and recently it has been conferred to our Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Here options were very close, the Order of Excellence, the Order of Valier, the Crown Jewel Honor, the Grand Cross of the Order. Okay. Also don't forget that the, the highest award of Dominica has also been given to uh, Prime Minister Modi and with this he is the second foreign dignitary to receive this honor from Dominica. Okay. Now in the next slide, we'll be talking about some important questions uh, regarding awards and honors. Brian Mulroney, who passed away recently, was the former Prime Minister of which country? Brian Mulroney was the former Prime Minister of Canada and recently he passed away. Who has been bestowed with the prestigious Chevalier de la Legion d'Honneur, the highest civilian honor of France? It has been given to Shashi Tharoor. Recently, who has been appointed as the chairman of the National Commission for Scheduled Caste? Answer is Kishore Makwana. Recently, which prison received the Biodiversity Conservation Award, which is constituted by Andhra Pradesh State Biodiversity Board? This is the prison of Raja Hamundri Central Prison. Recently, who received the prestigious uh, P. V. Narsimha Rao Memorial Award for his philanthropy work? Answer is Ratan Tata, who have been awarded the 2024 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. This year, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry has been given to David Baker, Dennis Hassabis and John M. Last question is, Anshuman Gaikwad, who recently passed away, was associated with which sport? Answer is cricket. Now, the last question is, what type of missile is RS-26 Rubes that has been launched by Russia? So, it is a kind of intercontinental ballistic missile and it is a mobile ICBM that was launched by Russia marking its first use in the Ukraine conflict. So it has a range of 5,000 to 6,000 kilometers and it can deliver the nuclear warheads posing a significant threat to Europe and the US. So this strike follows the Ukraine's use of long range missiles escalating the tensions further and this missile is derived from RS-24 yards and it represents a modernized capability in Russia's arsenal reinforcing its deterrent posture against NATO and the Western involvement in the ongoing war, right? So RS-26 missile is a kind of intercontinental ballistic missile. Why it came into news? Because it has been launched by Russia against which country? So Russia has used it against Ukraine, okay? Now in the last slide, we will see some defense news. The first one is Technology Development Fund Scheme is a program of which ministry? So this scheme belongs to Ministry of Defense, which APR is responsible for building the next generation missile vessels in India. This is Cochin Shipyard Limited. What is the name of the seventh anti-submarine warfare shallow watercraft that is launched for the Indian Navy? This is Abhay. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited recently delivered two Dornier 228 planes to which country? So they have recently delivered these two Dornier 228 planes to the country Guyana. Where was the first private sector facility for the manufacturing of ammunition and missiles unveiled? Answer is Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. Which Indian Navy ship has been adjudged the best ship of the Eastern Fleet at the annual Fleet Awards Function 2024? This is INS Delhi. And last is, what is the primary purpose of the MQ-9B Predator drones recently acquired by India from the US? So basic purpose of MQ-9B Predator Drone is surveillance and reconnaissance. Okay. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. I hope you have liked it. And now at last, I'd like to give you some homework. Today your homework is related to reports and indices. So on the screen, you can see seven questions. Please read each of the questions carefully and try to answer them in the comment section. I'll be waiting for your answers. Also, if you find these videos to be fruitful for you, please uh, give your positive feedback in the comment section so that others can watch that and trust us. Now before concluding, let me again remind you that these questions are part of our daily 20 MCQ series in the GK Today Android application. So if you want the PDF of the lecture, you can subscribe to that course by paying a very nominal fees. So now we'll be 
meeting tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this minuzhat sana signing off